Hey guys, happy Friday, and guess what? Still haven't heard from the APA. Surprise. So no Merry Christmas to us on that. I got my adult beverage, and I'm ready to talk to you guys about something extremely important that, you know, I've been seeing all over the internet around this holiday season as the weather's getting colder and colder, and that is chicken sweaters. And I want to go over today why I am very anti-chicken sweater. I think it's very, very sweet when everybody sends me videos that make them think of me. So the big one that I've gotten the past couple weeks is this chicken walking around in a sweater and in these little booty things. And everybody's like, Sam, you need to do it. You need to do it. You need to do it. Everybody is so sweet for thinking of me, but I need to point out that chickens do not need sweaters. And while, you know, I like to throw like a little scarf on or a bandana or something like that on one of my chickens, that's totally fine. And I take it off before they run away. While it might be cute to dress up your chicken in a sweater for a couple of minutes, I do not recommend that you keep it on. And here's a few reasons why. Reason number one, chickens are warm blooded and regulate their own body heat. So there's really no need for them to have a sweater because they're just like us. They'll regulate their body heat. And what do you do when you get cold? You do something that's going to make you warm, right? So what do chickens do? They fluff up, they'll roost and, you know, huddle their little legs under their bellies. And then they will also cuddle up together. So if they have a sweater on, they're not going to be able to fluff up. And if they have a sweater on, those other judgy bitches might not want to cuddle with them because they look foolish. Do not put a sweater on your chicken in cold weather for more than a couple minutes because it's going to regulate their, or it's going to mess up the regulation of their body temperature. They're going to go from being really warm to colder when you take that off. So be very careful, even if it's just for a little bit. Reason number two that you should not be putting chickens in sweaters is that it can trap moisture near the skin of the chicken. So if the chicken's outside with its sweater on and it's a little snowy and she gets snow on her sweater, it's gonna absorb into that sweater and then it's gonna like go into her skin. And that creates a really great environment for lice and mites to breed and have at it. So that is another reason you do not wanna have that chicken in a sweater for more than a couple seconds or even a couple minutes. Reason number three, not to put your chicken in a sweater. If your chicken is molting and you're really concerned that they're cold, uh, you might feel compelled to make them a little more warm, especially in this kind of weather if it's snowing or something like that, right? A sweater can rub up against those pin feathers and it can actually cut them or uh, make them start bleeding and just injure the chicken. And, like, it, that's bad. Like, they're already miserable because they're molting. They don't want you to pick them up. They kind of are like hiding an embarrassment. So don't embarrass them further by putting a sweater on them so their chicken friends can make fun of them. And then it's going to hurt their pin feathers as they're trying to grow those feathers. And then they're going to be in that molt face even longer. Reason number four, not to put your chicken in a sweater, it interferes with dust baths and it interferes with preening. So their natural way of keeping themselves clean is completely screwed up when they have this monstrosity on them. Okay, so they're not gonna be able to roll around in the dirt and get the same kind of bath that they would if they were naked. Um, and they're not gonna be able to preen their feathers as much either. Number five in the last reason I'm gonna talk about today, mating accidents. So you know that show on TV called Sex Sent Me to the ER? Like I've never actually watched it, but I see it like as I'm clicking through and I was like, what the heck? You do not want your chicken to end up on that show. Okay, so think about it. A chicken does this submissive squat with its sweater on. Maybe the rooster kind of fancies it a little bit. Who knows? So the rooster gets on top, holding onto her neck, doing its thing. But when he goes to get off of her, his claws or his spurs or, you know, whatever can get caught up in there. And then she's trying to run away and she's got this like rooster attached to her and he's freaking out and he's probably like pecking at her and trying to, you know, get her to stop. But that just freaks her out even more. 
So mating accidents, who thought of that, right? There might be like one exception to chicken sweaters outside of maybe just the couple minute thing that we talked about. And that would be ex-battery hens. So a lot of places will rescue ex-battery hens and they show up with like no feathers. A sweater could restrict the growth of those or again, it could injure them. It would make them very uncomfortable. They've already been through so much. So if you're really concerned with your ex-battery hen, um, being too cold what you should really do is separate them from everybody else put in a heat source like i know a lot of people don't like heat lamps but you can also get like a radiant heat type thing that are for chickens i saw it at tsc and rural king um those are probably a little safer especially in those situations where they're they're full-grown hens and they can knock that heat lamp over and then light themselves on fire and then light everything else on fire so i would suggest getting them their own little heat source in a private quiet area so they can start growing those feathers back in a stress-free environment so i would even do that over putting a sweater on them it's just going to make them uncomfortable it's not going to help them regulate their body temperature um, and it's not gonna make them even recover any faster. That's it guys, I just wanted to go over that. Almost every time I've gotten that video, I've had like the urge to be like, no, chicken sweaters are bad. But I just know that, you know, a lot of the people that are my friends on Facebook and Instagram, they just really like to send me cute, thoughtful things. So I just wanted to make this public service announcement uh, via YouTube so maybe other people can see it and maybe um, share this information along with their friends too. Just so we can all have happier and healthier chickens as we go into 2018. So cheers. I hope you guys have a great Christmas and a happy new year. I will talk to you next week and I will still have all these decorations up, I'm sure. All right, see you guys later, bye.